Hello, my name's Layla and I'm the puppeteer from Where Caterpillars Go. And here's our lovely Scylla. And I would like to share with you how you can make your very own caterpillar. And here's some of the things you'll need. You will need two pieces of A4 sized card. Uh, you can have the same colour, I've gone for two different colours, green and yellow. For the caterpillar's head you'll need something round. Here's a polystyrene ball which you can use or you could use a bouncy ball or anything that you find that's round. You could also use an egg box. I've just cut out the bottom and this will give you a nice rounded face. Here are some options for some eyes. We've got split pins, googly eyes, sequins. You could also use buttons or a marker. You will also need something to puppeteer your caterpillar with. So here we've got some lolly sticks, some chopsticks. You could also use pencils or anything else. To add some finishing touches to your caterpillar, I've cut out some tissue paper and we've also got some pipe cleaners for its antennae. You'll need a glue stick and I've also got some PVA glue and a paintbrush to help with the decorating. And finally, some sticky tape, a pencil, a ruler and some scissors. Begin by putting your ruler at the edge of your card and you're going to draw a line from the top all the way down to the bottom of your card. You're going to do this again but this time you're going to use your pencil line as the beginning and we're going to draw another line all the way from one side to the other and we're going to repeat that and we'll do this with the other paper as well. Next you need to carefully cut along the pencilled lines until you have four equal strips. Next we're going to stick our two short ends together using our sticky tape. And we'll do the same with the green ones. Take one piece of each colour and we're going to do some folding. You need to have one piece on a vertical line and one piece on a horizontal line. And just to keep them in place, we're going to sit them down. So you're going to fold the bottom piece over the top of that one and then we're going to keep going with this action, keeping on folding the card over. And we're going to do exactly the same thing with our other strips. And if you have anything left over, you can just cut it off with your scissors. You're going to slot the two ends together using the same colours and then pinching the next colour along and just holding them between your fingers and take a bit of sellotape and stick them together in the middle and this will make our lovely caterpillars arch. So now you'll need your ice lolly sticks and your glue stick and you're just going to put some glue on both sides just at the edge and then place your stick in the middle and give it a little squeeze. You might not need to hold this for a little while. Um, I like to use a little bit of sellotape just to strengthen this a bit further. And then you should find that we can move our puppet. So this is my favourite bit, decorating the head and you can be really free with this and any decorations that you feel like putting on, you can. So I'm using PVA glue and some tissue paper. So the next thing I'm going to do is to make some antennae. And now for the eyes. If you're using split pins, they can just stick straight in where you think the eyes might go. And now to stick the head on, I'm going to use some, a glue stick and we're going to try and put quite a bit of glue for this bit. 
if you want to use something stronger you can and then we're going to take our head and we're just going to hold that into place sometimes I feel it's easier to give it quite a bit of pressure for this bit and now you've got your very own caterpillar which you can use to tell stories you can take it to your favourite place and have an adventure and don't forget if you'd like to share these with us that would be brilliant